Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be my second upload of the day. If you guys missed the first one, it's going to be on the new Swiss K31 sniper rifle. Total hit marker machine. Total rage. It has so much potential. I don't know why Trey keeps on doing this. If you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out right here. But this video is going to be on the PPSH41 as well as the reactive camera that it comes with. This is actually a season pass reward right here. Your boy made about it. Don't judge me. Content comes first. But let's go ahead and check out what the blueprint comes with. As far as the optic go, it comes with fast point reflex. Task Force, 55 round drum mag, grew elastic wrap, which is awesome, maximum ADS time, and Spetsnaz stock. This is gonna be my first time using this weapon. We finna see how it goes. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and check it out. But before we jump into it, be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you guys enjoy the content, be sure to drop a sub. I greatly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments down below. Well, how do you guys feel about season three so far? I think it's pretty cool. You know, we get a little bit of content for like about a month or two, and then it starts to get stale, and then the cycle repeats itself. But that's just me. Again, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop a like and a sub. And let's just jump right into it. Oh, we're also rocking a ballistic knife, BTW. All right, let's go. Oh my God, am I not recording? Oh my God, I am. All right, we finna see how this guy performs and pretty good ADS time, but that is to be expected with the Gru Elastic Grep. Wow, sick mobility, bro. Wow, talk about recoil. I did not expect that. My thumb slipped right there, oh my God. Jesus, bro. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to unlock some recoil attachments here. Or maybe I should just, like, switch to PC so I can control everything with mouse and keyboard, you know? Then again, bro, people on mouse and keyboard... Oh, I forgot I have the ballistic knife. Let's check this out. Ooh, it's nice. Now, how about this? Ooh, that's nice. It's nice. I like it. I really thought there was somebody behind me. Oh, there is. No, oh, I'm gonna try hip firing this thing. Maybe that's where it's at. Maybe. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh. Wow, that's nice. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't even know how I missed the first one. That doesn't make any sense. Come on, bro. You got to get him for me. So I went ahead and took off the task force barrel. I have the standard one on there. And I have a 4% real code control. 4% recoil control muzzle. So we eliminated a lot of recoil right there, plus we added some control to it. You see, that's a lot more manageable already. Oh, damn, that took out so much health. You see, now that's what I'm talking about. This is the PPSH right here. Man, uh, like, I'm not gonna lie, this is making me want to go back and play World War II for like three games and then hate it all over again. It's a toxic cycle. Oh my god. I'd be toxic sometimes. But just sometimes, though. Oh. Spy plane available for tasking. Yo, y'all remember the ballistic knife in Black Ops 4? It had gas powered. Basically, it went fat like it went further and it went faster. Oh my god. Homeboy was really just chilling there. Trash. Get Rex, bro. Oh, squeeze that head. Wonder if he's gonna notice me. Oh, oh! <laughs> I was trying to stick my dog on him. What the heck? Wow, what's up with the bullet velocity on this thing? All right, let's go ahead and play. Oh, those are nice iron sights. All right, let's go ahead and play this one more game. See what we can do with our updated attachments. I just, I wish that the blueprints stayed the same. No matter what attachment you decide to use. That would be tight, you know. Personally, that's just my personal opinion. That would be pretty tight. Was he laying down? I swear to God. Okay, so, I mean, the PPSH is not bad. It's pretty average so far, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, I'm not gonna lie. The PPSH so far has underwhelmed me. You know, they were pretty disappointing. This and the new sniper, not that great. I could just use an MP5, a base model MP5, and it's gonna be better. Like, there's no reason why I would use this over the MP5. And, like, I know I don't have it, like, fully, like, leveled up yet, but so far, what I'm seeing, I just don't see any real reason to go ahead and just put myself at a disadvantage. There's not even a fun factor to this, bro. Like, sure, it's a World War II weapon, but who cares? A nice little nod to what's coming next year or whatever. I don't know, bro. I feel like the gun could have been better. It's super underwhelming. No reason to use this over, like, an MP5 or a MAG-10 or even a Bullfrog, you know? But that is my official, unofficial review of this gun. Um... 
probably won't be playing with it if I'm gonna be completely honest. That sniper rifle, I'm gonna level it up, has potential, but I feel like the Tundra and even the Pellington are just gonna outclass that gun anyway. But if you haven't seen my video on the new sniper rifle, check it out in the end screen. And I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to drop a like and a sub, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.